lovely to be here. So nice to see yes, you again. Gorgeous. We had such a lovely visit last time, which I was... Know. That was a while ago. That was, was two days... Was it after the election or after the inauguration? Two days after... After the election. Two it? days after the election yeah. you were here. It was a shocking time. There's been a lot of truthiness since then. There sure has. Yes, How have you been? Has. Um, I've been busy. Maybe I've been trying to distract myself from, from all of that. But yeah, I've been so busy. And you're, you've been busy? Your family's been busy? <laughs> Too I busy! Ju I, just, I just watched this morning. I don't know. Do you mind if I, if I show this? Or oh, you must be baby. proud of this. Your daughter, who is Nico. Nico. Nico is Tim Burton's uh, live action of Dumbo. The, yeah. the trailer was released this morning. And your daughter there is in it. Is. Right there. My there baby. she is. I can't believe it. She looks so <laughs> much like you. That Doesn't is the look... biggest compliment ever. Oh, my goodness. You know, when you look in the mirror and you see your kids looking back at you, it's just mind-blowing, you know? I don't see my kids when I look in the mirror. I see my... <laughs> I see my parents when I look in the mirror. <laughs> I need to moisturize more. Aww. Now, okay, so did you... Are you excited that she wants to be involved in show business? Because some parents are like, uh, don't get into this. <sighs> I don't you... know. I think a lot of people desperately want their kids to get involved, and I, I try to steer them away from How? It. How did you gently steer? <laughs> well, I obviously steered her right towards it, but um, I just... Um, I, I think it's a really difficult profession. There's so much rejection, mm -hmm. um, so much competition, especially, you know, between women. Uh, it's, it's a really, really tough place to be, and... But they spent so much time on set that for them it was like, meh, whatever. They were bored all the time, you know. I was the one saying, please, come and see Mummy doing this. It's like, oh, but you do the same thing over and over. Um, so for them, it just, it, it lost the, the, you know, the allure. So, you know, she, um, she got into it totally by accident. She had her own YouTube channel and I had no idea. And this is when she was 11 and she used to do these little tutorials about what she was having for breakfast and what she did on Christmas Day. Anyway, and I got this call from a, a casting director in the States saying that they'd seen my daughter on YouTube and was she interested in, in auditioning for a movie? And I said, no, she's not going to audition. It's too scary. And they said, well, just can she go on, on an iPhone in your kitchen? So we recorded her on an iPhone and the director adored her. And Nico was totally nonplussed about the whole thing. But when she found out that she would have to kiss a 16-year-old boy in the movie, she's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> So that's that good. was that. That's good. And I thought, great, mm -hmm. that, you know, we've, woof, we've, um, yes. we've, we've dodged that bullet. And then back in, back in England, uh, it happened again. A casting director heard that she'd been pretty luminous in this screen test. And it was Tim Burton's Dumbo. And as soon as my kid heard about Dumbo and Tim Burton, she's like, yes. <laughs> so, um, so we recorded her on the iPhone again, and Tim fell in love with her. And that is history. And, and your husband is busy, too, because he's, he's just directed uh, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. I know. The sequel. Are, are you, is there going to be a cameo for you? <laughs> God, I wish. Um, well, the, the, all the cast have already been selected because of the first movie. But my clever husband managed to snare Cher. 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 So that, that explains this? Yes, that so explains that. Cher is in the movie. <laughs> that She's, was our Christmas she, card. She has a cameo, but... You, I tell you, don't. you. Are you jealous of Cher? I have to compete with, with Cher for my husband's attention right now, okay? Like, literally, I'm on the phone. Baby, it's, you know, it's our anniversary, July the 11th. Um, he's like, oh, I've got the premiere of Mamma Mia in Stockholm. I'm like, okay, will Cher be there? <laughs> and he's like, hang on a sec, let me just find out. Cher, are you coming to Stockholm? <laughs> you know, like, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Wow. I just, um, I'm like... Well, what just happened there? What did you just do? I'm just like, baby, you know, what, Cher's going to be in, in Stockholm and I'm not? I'm, I'm, I'm hey, not, a I'm lot of sure. you out there know exactly what I'm doing. So, now you fought back, though. You I fought, fought back. back. I tooth sucked hard. Your date was RuPaul <laughs> toward the premiere of Solo. Yep. Right there. I know, because my husband wasn't available uh, for, the, for the premiere of, of Solo. He was doing reshoots on Mamma Mia. And so I asked my new bestie. And she loves Westworld. He. 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 I think he, he. identifies but as actually, he. actually, she but... loves Westworld. RuPaul. 
his alter ego loves Maeve. That's really? how he became besties. I love, I love Maeve. Do you? I don't know if the, I, I, I'm watching the, the season I right now. I'm one Maeve. episode behind. I'm one episode behind. I Lucky ask... you, you still got it to come. Episode eight is dope. <laughs> Take your word for it. Take your word for it. Oof. I want to ask you about uh, uh, the, the, the episodes that have been happening, the, the, the last couple of episodes, especially uh, Akane no Mai, I think it was, oh. it was called. That was in the Shogun world, the sort of the Shogunite version of Westworld. Yeah. You speak a lot of Japanese. Of the Japanese. Like long chunks Huge of Japanese dialogue. Chunks. Did you speak any dialogue before you did that episode? No. It's a really difficult, uh, many Asian languages... My butt languages... cheeks were clenched for an entire episode. I was terrified. I was going to ask. Yeah. I was going to ask. I was terrified, because I knew I could not screw it up. Maeve has to be perfect. It's a tonal language, too. It's very oh. foreign to uh, our Western ears. It's completely different. How, 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 how long did it take you to get that down? Well, I had about three weeks to prepare, but then by the end... We were, you know, they were adding scenes the day before, you know, lines of dialogue. But once I had the, the kind of structure of the language, and, and, you know, it's about body language. For women, it's a very, very modest, modest language. You can't have your tongue in front of your teeth. You know, there's... Really? The, the chin is down, and it's a lot, it's a lot to do with the whole dance of, of the body. And once I had that, I was pretty... I was pretty... <laughs> I had it. It was good. Well, I'm certainly impressed. I'm certainly impressed. I had to learn... Uh, uh, I had to sing a song in Korean once. I learned a fair amount of Korean. And I worked with a Korean uh, language coach yeah. to study, to learn the, the, the words of the song, <laughs> and I would say it back to her, and no matter how I do it, I would say, is that, is that close enough? And she would say, no, it is very bad. Oh. <laughs> and you can't believe it. You think you're really doing a good job. Exactly, perfectly right. Yeah. Well, um... One of the things, as I said, you're also you're also in solo, and it premiered it at Cannes. Yes, it did. Can. I just want to point out how beautiful this. Who made this dress that you're wearing oh. on the um, red carpet? I had a dream that I wanted to do this. You know, I used to I play with my little boy with all the people of color from the Star Wars legacy, and when I realized that I was the first woman of color really to have a lead role, I thought, you know, this is because. All the people that have that have struggled up until this point, you know, it's I wanted to honor them. And then I asked Vivian Westwood if she would collaborate on a gown. And I had, you know, this wonderful photographer took the photos of my kids' toys. Can you push in? Because uh, the, the dress is covered with images of all, of the, all men. the toys. Like there's John Boyega, I think, yeah, right there. All the of all the, the fellas of color who have appeared in the, the legacy, and they all fit on one dress, which is, you know. There you go. But there they are. <laughs> and, uh, and it was so sweet. Like, just uh, the next day, Sam Jackson tweeted a response saying, thank you for taking a brother to, to, to the Cannes Film Festival. It was really sweet. Because it is about the people that have come before us, you know, everything that we do, the people that have struggled. And so often, you know, I think now we're in such a... Well, we are in an everything now generation where, you know, people tend not to think about history, and, you know, it, it really... We need to look back and just see the, the greatness that's come before us. Do you have an actor or an actress that you look up to, like, that is my actor or acting... actress or actor who is your hero? Isabel Huppert. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah. She's still still performing. She's yes. still oh, my a very goodness. vital artist Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. And her work with Michael Haneke is just... I'm perplexed. <laughs> Perplexed by how good she is? Yeah, just by both him and, and her, and I just think most other acting is just pale in comparison to what she does. She's Would you like incredible. to work with her, or would it be too, no too overawing? No Really? Yeah. Would it, would it... I don't want, like, I, you know, sometimes you want, you want those heroes to always be distant. Like, I, I can... No, no, I want that to be a place of, of reverence in, and a place that I'm always trying to get to, as opposed to... I don't want to ever get there. That would... That would, you know, I, I always want to be in awe of what of what I'm doing and the people that I feel do it a hell of a lot better than I do. Well, I, I, I disagree. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Oh, it's lovely to be here. Westworld airs Sundays on HBO. Tandy Newton, everybody. We'll be right back.